So I hope you guys enjoyed my last film of Friday where we made this an advent calendar. We can change the numbers. If you didn't see it, go check it out. Um, it's now 18 days to Christmas. Well, as you're watching this, it's probably 17 because I'm filming this a day early. But that was a fun little project. But Christmas is now bringing up a lot of questions from people asking me what printer they should buy for Christmas. And I've had a lot of questions. Where do they get a Fabricator Mini? Unfortunately, I got mine at HobbyKing.com and they're not selling them anymore. It looks like this printer, even though it just came out like in July, is already going to be discontinued. It sucks because this was a really, really good printer. It's based on the Tiny Boy open source printer and that group who created the Tiny Boy has now come out with the Tiny Boy 2, slightly bigger, and they're doing an Indiegogo campaign. So it looks like, unless Hobby King is going to now sell the Tiny Boy 2, I don't know, but the Tiny Boy 1 or the Fabricator Mini is, is gone. So I'm glad I bought this thing. $192 bucks was the best $192 3D printer I ever bought. But unfortunately, you can't get it. So can't help you there. Now another printer you might consider is a uh, Prusa i3 style and there's a ton of them out there you can find them on eBay as kits for around 300 bucks people have used those and getting great results out of them well one of my patreon subscribers supporters um, Mar Marcelo I don't want I'm gonna mess up his name Marcelo Bacchetti he actually sent me his Sun Hokey Prusa i3 printer it's all acrylic frame and unfortunately in shipping it exploded it broke into pieces so I've got it all apart and I'm gonna try and build a new frame for it using uh, the 2020 aluminum extrusion the same stuff I used to support my CNC machine in a CNC Sunday video so I'm gonna try and build a new frame for it and he's gonna let me evaluate it and get it set up and so I can evaluate a duplicate or a Prusa i3 style design now another low cost printer, right here, Da Vinci Junior. It's back. I got one from XYZ Printing a while ago to evaluate. I did four videos on it. In fact, I'll put a link up here so you can go watch the playlist. But I know a lot of people are gonna buy these for Christmas and they're probably gonna want help. Well, I was actually shopping on Amazon and I saw that they had these things for $100 off, $249 for Da Vinci Jr. and I thought that's a pretty good deal. I really don't need one, but that's a pretty good deal. And then they had it Amazon Prime, so free shipping. So 249, but I would be charged tax of around $14, put it at $263 out the door. I'm like that's pretty tempting. But to go further, a message popped up when I was searching it said if I apply for an Amazon credit card I'll get 3% off on any future purchases, and I buy a lot of filament for the, the DaVinci 1.0s, so that was a good savings, and they would give me $80 towards my next purchase on Amazon. So I got this thing, I applied, got the card, and they gave me the 80 bucks. I got this thing for $183 out the door, tax, shipping, everything. I couldn't pass it up. And you may say, why would I buy another DaVinci with the chipped cartridge and all that? This is the one Da Vinci printer that I was really happy with the, the quality of the prints because it's got an E3D V6 style hot end in it. It's actually a very good printer. If they would open this thing up, this would be a phenomenal printer. The only thing holding this back is software. I'm going to keep it around because I know there's going to be a lot of people who are going to buy this printer and going to look for help, and I'm willing to give them help. Now several people have asked me if I've considered getting a DaVinci Pro. But I've decided I really don't want any printer in my shop that's over 500 bucks. That's my threshold, $500 or less. I think a lot of families are not going to spend more than $500 for a 3D printer. Above that, yeah, if you're using it for business or you're really serious about the hobby, sure. But for 3D printing to spread, more people use it, and that's what I'd love to see. I think the printers have to get better quality under 500 bucks. And you know what? We're there. We're, we're really there. You know, printers like the, the Fabricator Mini, the Prusa i3s, the, the Da Vinci Junior, if that thing was open, would be even better. 
Um, there's the M3D. Some people like it, some people don't, but that's like a $399 printer. There's quite a few out there. Uh, the, the Wanho Duplicator i3 is a fully assembled Prusa i3 design. You can get those. I think they retail for $499. You can find them anywhere for $399. I've seen that in action. Really good prints. I've seen it right next to an Ultimaker 2. Believe me, it wasn't worth the extra money for the Ultimaker 2. The Ultimaker 2 printed better, not that much better. So I think we're there. So I'm not going to spend over 500 bucks. So the Da Vinci Pro 699 is above that $500 mark. So I'm probably never going to buy one. But what bothered me more is I got an email from one of my subscribers, Terry Waters. He sent me a picture of the hot end. And here's a picture of it. I looked at it and I've studied the hot end on my DaVinci's, DaVinci 1.0s. I know it well. This isn't a whole lot different than the DaVinci 1.0. It's the same basic design. Now, they added more heat sinks to it to... to get rid of some of the heat and it looks like they've changed the the heat break the little tube that goes down to the to the hot end itself so they've changed the design there but i just i've learned enough about the different hot ends and stuff i just really didn't think it would print that good so it turns out that there's another youtuber that i watch mark fuller he's got a youtube channel i'll put a link to his show on uh, description below he, got, he bought a DaVinci Pro, he did a couple videos on it, introducing people to it, and I asked him, could he just print something with a point, just to see how well it turns out? And he agreed to do it. Fantastic. Thank you, Mark, for doing that. Unfortunately, the results are exactly what I expected. Take a look at this. The, the print does exactly what the DaVinci 1.0s do. It gets too hot, the, the hot end gets too hot, and it melts the top. Now that's not just the hot end, that's also the slicer. A good slicer will slow the hot end down. It'll slow the, the, the nozzle down. And also lower the temperature a little bit. Um, but mainly it's the speed. You gotta slow it down so it gives the plastic time to cool. Here, let me show you a picture from Simplify 3D of that same rocket that he printed with the point and you can see there's a blue section towards the top blue deter is an indicator of what the speed is that blue is showing that the print is going to slow down at the top of the rocket the xyz software doesn't do that certainly not enough so that's the problem i have with the davinci pro the davinci pro keeps you on their crappy XYZ wear software and whatever slicer they're using in that thing I just it's not that good I don't know anyone who's bought those prove me wrong show me you got something better out there but I cannot recommend that printer not at all so that's it for now I hope you I hope I helped you guys make a decision towards what printer to buy or what not to buy it's the best I can offer right now so that's it for now. If you like this, give it a thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. That way I know you're watching and you want to see more. If you want to help the channel, a dollar to my Patreon account. That goes a long way. I would, a dollar a month really helps out and uh, helps me keep this thing going. So until filming on Friday, I'll see you next time.